All right, so once again, I ended up uh, yeah, pretty late in the night. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, what I did. <laughs> and also today, since it's not really raining right now, I'm gonna be, I guess, taking care of the greenhouse. I'm gonna be taking my basil in it, and these little tomatoes and romaine lettuce that I bought. And at the same time, why not do a bit of, um, I guess, recycling? <laughs> This is a Boston lettuce that I bought. You know, you can buy them sometimes with the roots. Let me just zoom in. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be planting that in the garden. This is a celery butt, I guess. These are some leeks. And these are some green onions. So, uh, ah well, might as well go out. Oh, it's windy. Anyway, so what did I do last night? Look at those chives. They're huge, look at that. Yeah, they're pretty beautiful. I almost don't want to cut them to uh, cook with them. All right, so planted a few. Uh, this is a peony. Little white one is a mystery plant that was growing, I guess, for some reason. Planted some more uh, little flowers over there. Yeah, and my little bass, I guess, little water feature that still needs a lot of work. Uh, and yeah, today I'm going to be using my greenhouse. Probably going to be using it, I guess, for a... One last year before I, I, I guess I'm gonna tear it up to build my Wallapini. We'll see about that. So, this is my main thing I did last night. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool, eh? <laughs> I added yet another garden. That was where my second, I guess, asparaguses were. My chives, now I added some iris there. This is my um, pear tree. This is, um, what is that? Uh, lavender, yeah, lavender tree. Probably not gonna survive that long because it's not, uh, I think it's a zone 5. Uh, oh yeah, quick tip. You see that? That is garlic. That is a worm. <laughs> no way, uh, you plant garlic at the base of your uh, fruit fruit trees and apparently it's gonna keep the, uh, well it might help with the uh, aphids, controlling the aphids, so we're gonna see about that. Because I usually get lots of aphids in my um, <laughs> in my uh, apple trees, so we'll see. I planted lots of garlic down around the, uh, the tree trunk since I had so many and cookies coming up, and yeah, some more irises. I guess you can see the little piles, they're there. And in between them, I'm going to be planting uh, what's it called? Bee balm, yeah, just a little another perennial that I'm growing from seed. They started to grow inside, and um, yeah, it's going to the greenhouse. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it's raining, so uh, I'm in the greenhouse. That's why there's a lot of noises. Anyway, decided to use my greenhouse because I have, well, I bought some uh, romaine lettuce and these apparently will get frost if it does and apparently it might still do. Uh, just get out. So yeah, I'm going to be using my greenhouse for a little bit of experiment. Got some tomatoes that I'm going to plant in pure seaweed. Others I'm going to plant in dead leaves, seaweed and uh, just regular soil, I guess. Uh, potatoes, as you can see, these are way overdue <laughs> to get in the in the dirt, I guess. And I won't be putting the potato, not yet. I'm just gonna be sniping, snipping them all up, and I'm gonna grow some in the, uh, in the seaweed, some in the soil also. And you know, I've tried the seaweed potatoes before, and they grew pretty well. Now, ah, let me just show you. I dug a big hole with my fingers. Now, let's just put a tomato plant like that. Just get back a little bit. I'm just gonna break up the pot a bit. So, you know, the roots can get out. It says they can without too much problem, but you know, I won't trust the, the pot too much. Yeah, just break up the little leaves like that. And uh, yeah, roots are gonna form from that. They're gonna start going up and down and have quite a lot of fun in the pot. Just throw them away. It's gonna make compost eventually. And yeah, just put the tomato ah, as deep as you can. There you go, let's have a bit of a chicken manure pellet. I love this stuff. Let me just show you. Yeah, this bag has been overused. And you know, it's organic, I guess. I just get the sweat off. My God, it's hot in the greenhouse anyway. And now, let's just put all the seaweed back in the hole. As snugly as I can get it to my 
tomatoes little trunk there. Like that. And there we go. I'm gonna be growing this one only in seaweed and a few chicken pellet like that. Ah, now I got all my fingers. And you know as I water it, well the pellets are gonna get down to it. Not pellets, but you know the nutrients. And yeah, we'll see what it does. <laughs> Ah, man, the greenhouse is kind of cramped. Anyway, this one, well, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with that one. Break up the pot. I'm going to be planting one here. Another one right there. Oh, yeah, and you know, uh, well, these don't have big suckers like these, you know, the little plant. Let me just zoom in. The little, uh, I guess, excess leaves that grow Assuming again on the uh, like the I don't know what to call it, but the little upper armpit, I guess, of the tomatoes. Uh, these, when they get, I guess, a little bigger than that, you just snip them and put them in the dirt like that, and they are gonna be, uh, you know, if you have a long season enough, well, they're gonna be growing and they're gonna make yourself a, a new tomato plant. All right, what else? Uh, the potatoes. <laughs> Man, this looks like a, like a spider. Anyway, yeah, apparently the traditional way to grow potatoes was to snip a bit of this, put this and a bit of potato in the ground. But as I've tried it, when you have long stems like that, you see those little uh, pointy things right there? These are actually little roots. So when you plant them in the dirt, all these, these two are gonna grow. And of course the tip, well, there are, there are the little leaves. So, I've pre-dug, once again, a little hole in my seaweed. Ah, like that I guess. Now, let's bring all that snugly around my little potato. Let's add some more, I hope you can hear me over the rain. Some more chicken manure to give it to the tomato. All right, so, <laughs> that's it. It's gonna be pretty happy, I guess, in there. Oh man, it's hot. Yeah, I'm gonna be planting the rest of these in here. Ah, what else? Ah, there you go. Oh yeah, I brought, where is it? There we go. My basil that was in the house. I brought it outside. And you know, I guess it's gonna benefit for more sun. It's gonna get in the greenhouse. Man, it's really pouring now. Look at that. All right, I'm done. <laughs> so I've covered everything up that was like what? maybe three to four inches uh, that didn't have any ground so I decided to add another bag of seaweed on top of that and uh, yeah we're gonna have some fun with this this summer <laughs> potato, tomato, 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 potato, potato lettuce and basil oh yeah and I found, not sure if you remember my little um, indoor uh, garlic these are uh, you know garlic that come from China, white garlic I guess um, it doesn't grow here because it can't survive winter. I'm not sure if it would uh, actually make cloves in one year. But anyway, I'm gonna put all of them in there. Most of them are onions now. And I'll be uh, putting the more dirt on that. Some chicken manure and seaweed on top. And we're gonna leave that there for the summer. And I guess I'll just take a step back. Ah, so much less noises. Anyway, that's gonna be my greenhouse for this summer. I almost forgot about my little, uh, I guess, recycled garden. <laughs> yes, sorry I didn't show you because it's really raining. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, minimize the the rain on my phone. Anyway, this is where my peas are. As you can see, the peas are coming out. So is the little weeds everywhere. I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, just pass with my hoe when it's dry. Because right now, it's just like wet dirt. So the, the, the I guess, the little weeds won't be taken out. Anyway. This is an onion I found from last year. I'm gonna be growing that. These are three little uh, green onions. That is the, the leek. These are the celery. And these are my little Boston lettuce. So hopefully, uh, everyone's gonna grow in hair. And uh, yeah, now I'm out and into the bath. See you everybody.